everybody. What's up? It's me, Caitlin, your favorite machine girl here today on Tano Tuesday. Happy Tano Tuesday, everybody. Well, we are not here to talk about Star Wars, though. I am still pumped from watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer last week. That was amazing. I am so hyped for the Obi-Wan series. Again, sorry about the lighting. I still haven't gotten that worked out. Um, But not here to talk about Star Wars, even though it's Tano Tuesday, if you guys can tell at the bottom of the screen. We are here to talk about Miss Marvel. You guys, you guys, y'all, next to the Loki series, the Miss Marvel series is probably the series I have been most looking forward to from Marvel and Disney Plus since they announced all the Marvel series that they were releasing on Disney Plus. I was hyped for Loki because I love Loki. He's like, I call him my spirit person. He's like my spirit animal. But Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel holds a very special place in my heart because Miss Marvel is actually the Marvel character that got me into the comics. So for those of you who don't know, yes, I am a huge Marvel fan, but oddly enough, I was never a big fan of the comics. I don't know why. Like, I loved manga, I loved graphic novels, but like Marvel comics, I was not a big fan of. I would read them once in a while, but it would just seem like I would get them from my local library and the library would have like the second book in a series. So I was missing like the first part of a series. So I didn't feel like I had all the information, which made it less enjoyable for me to read these comics. Because for certain comics, you just can't jump into the middle of the comic and know absolutely without a doubt what is going on. So for me, I was never really able to get into the comics. Then I heard about Miss Marvel. This character really intrigued me because she's an um, Pakistani American. She is, um, I think, I think pretty sure that's what she is. I know she's Middle Eastern American. She is a practicing Muslim. And so it's really interesting to see how they were doing this because her faith is still a part of her life, even as a superhero. So I got really curious about her and I heard that she's got really popular and I'm like, you know what, let me check it out. And I found the comics. And I enjoyed them so much because Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, she is literally us as fans. Kamala is a huge fan of the Avengers. She's a huge fan of superheroes. She writes fan fiction about the Avengers. So how cool is that? Because I write, I did Star Wars fan fiction and I love reading Avenger Marvel fan fiction. So here is a character who is just, is a fan she is a fan who becomes a superhero i mean how cool is that she's like just a normal teenager obsessed with her heroes and she becomes one so that is what really drew me in and then as a christian i was really i really enjoyed how they were able to blend her faith with her life and show this kind of struggle of being like you want to be normal but you have this in your life you know i don't have i don't do go through the same exact thing but it still was really interesting to see. So Miss Marvel is actually, Kamala Khan is actually what got me into the comics because once I started reading her comics, I couldn't stop. And now I love reading Marvel comics. She is still my favorite. She is still my go-to for Marvel comics. But I read the, I've read the Hawkeye comics now, Black Widow, Loki. I have a Miss Thor comic somewhere. And I've also been able to start reading the Star Wars comics, which are something I avoided, but now I read them. So Miss Marvel is literally what got me into Marvel comics and just comics in general. So she has a special place in my heart. She is literally my favorite Marvel. Loki is like all time my favorite Marvel MCU character. Miss Marvel has always been my favorite comics character because like I said, she got me into the comics. So I was super thrilled when they announced that they were doing the, I, actually I was thrilled and ecstatic when they announced that Kamala Khan was going to be in the new Captain Marvel movie now called The Marvels. And that made me super ecstatic because I'm like, yes, finally, this character is going to get some much needed, it's going to be huge because she's been in a few shows, she was a focus of the, of the series Marvel Rising. She's in Avengers Assemble. She was in the anime show they did for Avengers. I forgot what it's called. Um, they did a whole short series based around the Avengers Assemble series, which focused on Kamala interacting and learning lessons from the different Avengers. So I was like, yes, this is exciting. She's gonna be in the new Captain Marvel movie. And then they're like, she's also getting her own series. And I went, 
Yes! So I'm super, super excited. And on top of that, today, you guys, the reason I'm here, they dropped the trailer for the Miss Marvel series. Totally unexpected. Nothing was announced. We got a little, we've gotten a couple sneak peeks here and there. But this is the first official trailer for Miss Marvel. And it's kind of mind boggling because for the most part, they've been releasing trailers for the Disney Plus shows about two months before about a month or so before they air um obi-wan kenobi they just released that trailer he starts airing next month in may moon knight's trailer was released last month and it starts airing in next month so it's kind of interesting that they released miss marvel this month when they have announced her start date is june 8th so this is really ahead of schedule and the blob says the future is in her hands miss marvel an original series from marvel studios starts streaming june 8th on disney plus super excited and there's not and i have the wikipedia page of course and basically um the premise is kamala khan a fan of the avengers particularly carol danvers or captain marvel struggles to fit in until she gains her own powers this will be interesting because in the comics and in most of the storylines where she has appeared, Kamal, including the Avengers game where she was a main character, like the main, main character, Kamala gets her power from Terra Genesis because she is inhuman. Um, there's a whole Star Wars joke in there that they do in the comics with her and Bruno. So it'll be interesting to see because they currently do not have inhumans in the MCU. So will this be the introduction of inhuman introduction of inhumans or will this be the introduction of mutants nobody knows um we have i'm going to butcher everyone's names by the way so apologies in advance we have iman valnani valani as kamala khan a 16 year old muslim pakistani american from jersey series city who writes superhero fan fiction yay um, particularly of Captain Marvel and gains the ability to harn and gains the ability to harness cosmic energy and create constructs. So it does seem like it's going to be different from the comics. In the comics, she was able to stretch and self-heal. I'm pretty sure we'll see her self-healing ability still. I wasn't sure how they were going to do the stretching ability because that seems to never work out very well. <laughs> Fantastic Four. Um, so I'm actually kind of glad they're changing her powers a little bit. Um Amaris Knight as Kareem Red Dagger, a vigilante. I think he I vaguely I think I remember him from the comics. Sagar Shaka as Amir Khan, Kamala's older brother, which I'm so waiting to see. Amir is like the typical annoying older brother. I love him. Um Reese Shah as Camera as Cameron. Matt Lynch as Bruno Corelli, Kamala's best friend, and maybe a little bit more. If you read the comics, you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> Um, Zenobia Sharaf as Munaba Khan, like I said, I can't pronounce these names to save my knife, life, Kamala's mother and Yusuf's wife, Mohan Kapoor as Yusuf Khan, the only name I can pronounce other than Kamala and Amir, Kamala's father and Munabi's, Munaba's husband, additionally, Yasmin Fletcher, Lata, Lata Nakal, a bunch of people whose names I can't pronounce are also um have been cast in undisclosed roles the only one and then there's laurel marsden as zoe zimmer the most popular girl in school so i am super 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 excited for this you know what i've talked long enough i need to get food soon so let me be quiet shut my trap drop myself down here and let's watch the trailer for miss marvel uh oh i covered up what i need to do there we go let's full screen it first and then hide that. I don't know what I'm doing, so let's do this. By the way, this made me laugh so hard. Right here, we have Ant Man versus Man Ant. That was amazingly hysterical to me. Oh, I love her nail polish too. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Basically, all of us in class. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? <laughs> High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You were weirdo. <laughs> Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. <laughs> what? You're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Kamala. Hey. Already? 
Really? What, like, do I have to figure out my whole future before launch or is like <laughs> maybe they're right? I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not to you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who saved the world. That's oh my god! Fantasy too. <laughs> Oh, you? You? No, why? Did you hear something? Oh, my love. <laughs> what does it feel like? Cosmic. This is so cool! I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you know what you are? And you know what? I know there are going to be some people who love the comics like I do who are probably going to be mad about the fact that they changed her powers. Like I said, in the powers, she's a polymorph. So at first, she's able to change her appearance and she's able to get really, really stretchy. And that was her ability in um, the game, the Avengers game. I know people are going to be mad because they changed her powers for the show. But as I pointed out earlier, stretching ability does not always translate very well to film. Again, <laughs> Fantastic Four. Um, so I'm actually glad they changed her powers and they made it more in line with the MCU and that it's cosmic energy. And I love that where they show that she gets it. Now I gotta find it. I love the comment she makes about maybe everybody's right and I spend way too much time in a fantasy world. Girl, I am 34 years old. I don't know what it's like not to live in a fantasy world because I have lived in a fantasy world my whole life. Trust me, at some point you're going to grow into that imagination and you're going to be thankful you never grew out of it. So here we go. This is what's interesting is I questioned how she was going to get her abilities. It looks like it's going to be from this bracelet which is actually an important part of her character in the miss marvel comics she wears like this very long cuff bracelet which she also wears in pretty much all her appearances and in the comics it's something that's been passed down from mother to two daughter on her mother's side of the family and so it's very very important to her it's a part of her past it's part of who she is in the show, it looks like we're going to get a similar bracelet. And it looks like this bracelet, I mean, there's the bracelet. It's a little bit smaller than the comic, but it looks like this bracelet is going to be what gives her her abilities, which makes it very interesting because we do have Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings. And at the end of that, in the credit scene, we do see Shang-Chi and Katie talking with Bruce and Wong and Captain Marvel about the rings because the rings are older and they're not from earth and it's and it's something they don't recognize so maybe i'm putting jumping ahead way too quick but maybe kamala's bracelet might be connected to those rings who knows those are questions we'll probably get answered at some point in the mcu maybe it won't be through this show i don't know i don't care I'm just loving this trailer. I think it's so cute. It definitely speaks to the mindset of teenagers. I was that teenager who would be in class and I would not even be really paying attention to what the teacher was doing. If there was a window, I would be that kid staring out the window, daydreaming about something else, about something in my fantasy world. I would not be paying attention. So I love that they're doing this with Kamala, that she's just this teenager who just has a fantasy life. And like I said, one day you will be happy you did not grow out of that imagination. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. I love the colors. I love the costumes. Like I said, I'm glad they switched out the powers because I was not sure how they were going to do her stretching ability. I think that was the thing I was most concerned with because, again, Fantastic Four. Um, 
So yeah, I'm glad they changed her abilities. I know some people are probably going to hate it, but whatever. I mean, there are people who are just not happy unless they're complaining about something. But I am loving this. I love her line at the end where she's just like, you know what this makes me? I'm a hero! <laughs> like, she's so excited. And I love her little fantasy in the beginning of, like, the cute boy. And I'm like, yeah, that's all of us. Even today, as an adult, I do that. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I just want to stare. Um, so, yeah, this looks really, really cool. I think it's going to be a really fun, interesting show. I think it's going to be, I don't know. I think this will probably be my favorite series after Hawkeye, not just because I love her. I just think it looks like it's going to be a really interesting, well put together show. I love this. I think we're just, we really are going to go on a journey with her because this, I believe, is related to her family's past. Because in the comics, her parents actually fled Pakistan with her when her brother Amir was little. And they were, I think Kamala, they were actually pregnant with Kamala. Um, in the comics, she's an American citizen. She was born here, but she, her parents fled the violence in Pakistan. Like her mom talks about in the comics, like they fled all that violence over there only to come here in the States and there'd be all this other violence that they have to deal with. So I think this, we're definitely going to learn more about Kamala's past from her family, what that means and how it shapes her. Cause definitely our past shape who we are, our experiences, even if we don't experience them, our family has experienced them. So it definitely shapes who we are. So yeah, I'm excited to see this. I'm excited to learn. And like they point out, Kamala, Miss Marvel is really very much based on family and Marvel Universe is all about family. Oh my gosh, I love this outfit. I'm so, I cannot wait to see this scene. I cannot wait to see this outfit. She looks so tough and I'm so excited. I love I cannot emphasize this enough. I love Miss Marvel. I love the fact that she's she's very much a lot like Peter Parker in this. She's this ordinary kid and she just gets thrust into this world. But I think unlike Peter Parker, she's kind of like been Peter Parker's very much, oh my God, it's Bruce Banner. Cool. You guys are so smart. You're geniuses. I'm a genius too. And she's just like, I'm your biggest fan. She's like all of us screaming at our favorite concert. So this is what is so exciting about her is she is the fangirl. This is every fan's dream right here is what Miss Marvel is. This is what we want. We want to be the hero. We want to fight alongside our heroes. So this is what Miss Marvel is. She represents the fan in all of us. So I'm so excited for this show. And I love that last scene. I'm a hero! So yeah. And the music. The music was awesome. So here it is. Marvel Studios, Miss Marvel, original series streaming January, January, June 8th. So you guys tell me down below in the comments what you thought of the Miss Marvel trailer. Were you aware of this character? Did you know her from the comics? Are you excited to see this new character stepping forward into the MCU and leaving a mark behind? So let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys are fans of my DCP content and have been keeping track of what's going on with me as I get inch closer and closer to leaving for Florida, you guys, tomorrow is 40 days to Florida. I am almost one month away. So tomorrow I should have a really quick video for you. I'm hoping because there is a chance, a chance, I might find out my role tomorrow for DCP. So if you're a fan of my DCP stuff, keep an eye on for that. Like I said, comment down below what you guys thought of the Miss Marvel trailer. And if you guys are looking forward to the Miss Marvel series on Disney Plus, and I'm sorry, this was a super long video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all lots of love, hugs, and prayers. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.